Hey guys, welcome to our full body kettlebell workout. We're gonna start right now with the step touch to the side, rolling the shoulders back. So we just wanna hop right in with the workout so we don't waste any time. Keep those knees soft, breathing in through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. Last two, and deep squat. Sit back, come up, just a body weight squat. Weights in the heels, chest stays proud. Abs brace, we go down, up, Last two, step back lunge, right leg, we go back and up, good. Just use the arms, don't worry too much about the range in the legs, we're just getting blood to the body. Good, inhale, exhale, increasing the blood flow to the muscles before we add weight. Last four, three, two, and just step, reach up. We're gonna reach and down. Reach and down, good. So I'm gonna use a 20 pound kettlebell today. Feel free to use what you have. Some of the moves you could probably use more weight for than others. So kettlebell swings, you could definitely use more than when we're doing bicep curls. So if you have different options, feel free to mess around with those today and see how it goes, okay? All right, last four, three, two, and one, all right, grab the kettlebell. We're gonna start with the kettlebell swings. So feet are hip width apart, sit the hips back. It's a hip hinge, not a squat. Grab the horn with your hands. Also good idea to take off any rings before we start. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna take that kettlebell right through the hips and then shoot it through. Slight bend to the knees. Your chest does fall forward and your back comes up, but it's a hip hinge, not a squat. Good, weights in the heels, up. Up, good. Core is nice and tight, chest is proud. You got 15 seconds. Nice, good, excellent. Three more swings. Three, two, one, catch bent knees. Good, take the horns in your hands. Feet still outside hip, shoulders relaxed. Goblet squat, we're gonna go three, two, one, push through the heels. So a little pause at the bottom, butt to knees, push through the heels. Vision is a couple feet in front of you on the ground. The core is nice and tight, shoulders are relaxed. Three, two, one. Good, push through your heels, squeeze your glutes on the way up. Got four more reps. Good, always form over speed. So if you need to slow it down a little bit, that's cool. Two, and one, and done. Good, you're gonna take that kettlebell, you're gonna grab the bottom of the bell now, the bell part, not the horns, feet under hips, knees soft, shoulders relax. Make sure you have a good grip on it. Keep the elbows really close to the body. We're gonna curl it up to the shoulders. So curl and down to the thighs. Exhale up, inhale down. Good, just a bicep curl. Actively think about your biceps. Squeeze them to the top. Knees soft, back is tall. Nice, five more curls, don't lean back. Five, four, three, beautiful. Two, and one, good. Set it up for the swings again. So if you have that heavier one, you can go ahead and use heavier or use whatever you have, that's fine. Feet just hip width apart, hips back. Remember, hip hinge, not a squat. Grab that kettlebell, shoot through your hips first, and 30 seconds, we go. Up. Good. Nice tight glutes at the top. That's what gives you a good stopping point if you squeeze your glutes. Up. Five seconds. And catch. Ooh, good, grab the horns. Feet a little bit outside the hips, chest proud. Three by one, we go sit, 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 and shoot through the heels. Sit, 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 up good. Three, two, keeping that chest proud, don't let it fall forward. Three, two, one. Up, nice relaxed grip, and make sure those shoulders didn't creep up to the ears. Whew, 
Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Good. Down, down, down. You got four more reps here. Down, two, three, and up. Last two. Down, down. Push through the heels. Come on. Down, down, down. Up. Good. Feet under hips. Grab the belt. This is primarily, cup those elbows to the side. It's primarily a strength workout, okay? Here we go. 12 curls. We curl up and set. So primarily strength. We are getting the heart rate up. We are getting a little bit out of breath. So you are burning fat while we do it, but we're focusing on the strength aspect. Good. Relax those shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. Halfway, guys. Six. Five. Good. Try not to sway. Three. Two, one. Beautiful. Okay, shake that off. We're done with all those moves. We're going to go into a single arm swing. So similar to the double arm. And if you're not too comfortable yet, stick with the double hand. Otherwise, we're going to go two hands back and you switch at the top of the swing. Okay, 30 seconds again. So get ready. Get that bell ready. And three, two, one. We go down, come up, down, switch. Fire it through, it's still the same hip hinge. Hips go back and power up to the top. You should really feel your core working too, guys. Nice flat back. Don't let it round when you come down. Flat, flat, good. Last one up, catch. That hold the horns of the kettlebell. We're gonna step the right leg back. And as you step back, you're gonna pass the kettlebell through your legs to your other hand, come back up. Now step back at the opposite leg. So alternating step back lunges and passing it through. Good. Through and up. Try to keep your body tall. A slight lean forward is okay because you're engaging your core. And bring that kettlebell back to the chest if you can in between. Good. Pass it through and up. So we're getting quads, we're getting hamstrings, we're getting glutes, we're getting shoulders and biceps through that pass through, indefinite core. Good, step back, one more each leg, step back and up, back and up. Good, okay, we're gonna take that kettlebell holding the horns of it. We're gonna bring it up overhead, relax your shoulders, elbows stay close to the head, okay? Knees soft, core brace. We're gonna go down to the back of the neck, up to the ceiling, nice tricep extension. Down and up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Good. Four. Stay with that. Three. Come on. Two. And one. And catch. Good. No rest. We're going to go back to that one arm swing. Ready? Five seconds. Here we go. Last round of this. And start. We go up and switch. Up and switch. Nice flat back. Switching at the top of the move. Keep that head in line with your body as you do these. So we're not looking up. Let your head go with your body. You want to in line with your spine. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Quick as you can. Fire through. Three swings. Three, two, one. Catch it. Good. Bring it up to the chest. Relax those shoulders. Chest proud. We step back. Pass through. Back and up. Back and up. It's okay if you keep going the same direction or if you reverse it. That's fine too. Same muscles are still working. It doesn't really matter which direction you're going. So if you're in a good flow, Going the same way, just keep that going. You're not gonna be imbalanced. Same muscles. Breathe, step back, knee towards the floor. Step back, come on. Two more each leg, down, up, down, nice. One more time, down, up, down, up. Good, upper body only. So we're gonna cement that lower body. Feet hip width, knees soft. Take the bell, up overhead, relax your shoulders. Single time. Neck, ceiling. Look straight ahead. Inhale, exhale. Whew. 
Oh, good. Targeting the triceps. Back of the arms. Stay strong. Try not to let your elbows swing around. You got six more. Down and up. Good. Four. Finish it. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. Catch it. Okay. We're going to do kettlebell figure eights. And deep breaths, water is needed. But I'm going to keep going, so try to stay with me. Feet just a little bit outside hips. Still a hip hinge. Every time the kettlebell goes back and forth, it's a hip hinge. This time we're going to go figure eight through the legs. <sighs> Hop in when you're ready, when you get comfortable. <sighs> right here, 30 seconds on. So hips still going forward and back, just passing that kettlebell through. You should feel your core definitely have to work a little bit more now. <sighs> you might whack your shins a little bit, whack your calves. <laughs> that just comes with it. <sighs> you're halfway. Finish up, two, one more pass through, down, up, down, up, good, catch it. Feet under hips, pull the shoulders back, kettlebell, stiff leg deadlift. Three by one's the tempo, we go three, two, one, up, your hips go back, back, back. Your kettlebell stays super close to your legs, slides right down the thighs, your back stays super flat. What this is not is this is not a squat down with it, and it's not this. It's not rounding the back down. If your back looks like that, no good. Really stick your hips back. Your butt's the first thing to go. And then as you get the move, again, let your head stay in line with your body. Look down, 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 push through your heels. Down, down, down. Five more like this. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one. One, up, good, two more. I might have added a bonus. Last one. Now right arm takes the kettlebell. We're gonna do a one arm press, feet under hips, knees are soft. So you can put your arm out for balance or you can keep it at your side. Kettlebell starts in front of your face like this. We're gonna go out and up, back in front of your face. Exhaling up, inhaling back. Exhaling up, good. So this is really, really good for not only your deltoid, your shoulder, but also your core and your other muscles are working to stabilize anytime you do one arm work. Five more here. Up, nice. And again, you can keep that arm if you need to. Four, right above the head. Three, two, last one. Up and right to the other arm, good. Perfect, bring it in front of the face. You got it, up and out and back in. Exhaling up, inhaling, stabilize. Brace your core, keep your knees soft. Don't throw it into your back, none of this. Knees soft. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, rack it down. Catch your breath a second. We go back to the figure eight. Feet just outside the hips. You're almost done. Last round. One more time with each of those three moves. Ready? And back up. Back up. 30 seconds of this. Hip hinge. Pass it through. Stay with it. Now you probably found that nice groove, hopefully. 10 seconds. And done, good, done with that move. Feet under hips, shoulders pulled back. Abs brace, deadlift, three by one. We go back, 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 hips. Three, two, one, good, three. And careful at the top, not to overextend, only stop in line with the body. Stop here, good, three, two, one. In line, yes, three, two, one. Inhale down, exhale up, keep those shoulders pulled back, let the chest lead, you got four more here. Down, 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 up. Last one, 
and good. Feet under hips. Grab the inside of your kettlebell. So part of the horn that's closest to the inside of your body. We're doing a high pull. You're gonna exhale, pull that kettlebell right up to the collarbone, inhale back down. Your elbow leads the way. So you do not want your kettlebell, I can't even do it because it's too heavy. You don't want your wrist to pass your elbow. Your elbow has to pull up. We're again working shoulder and a little bit of upper back. Exhale up, inhale down, come straight up the body. Not far away, okay? Three, two, one. Keep the kettlebell in that hand, take a wide stance. This foot points straight ahead, this foot points out. Keep your hips to the front, keep your legs super straight. We're doing a windmill, your arm goes up, we go three, two, one, and up. So we're tipping from the hip, slight lean forward. You wanna think in line with the way that toe is pointing. So you're not getting stuck in your back, you're going slightly forward, and you're keeping that other arm straight ahead. Three, two, one, up. This is for the obliques, the very outer core. Good, four more. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one. One, up, you're almost there. Don't bend those knees. And good, to the other side. We don't take lots of rest, so you're working on a good portion of this workout. Grab the inside, knee soft, back tall. High pull here. Up, down. Exhale, inhale, good. Gotta even out those shoulders. You want toned shoulders on both sides. You don't want just one sculpted. Just five more, this is it. Five, set, good. Four, come on, big pull. Three, two, and one. Keep the kettlebell in that hand. Turn that toe out, hips front, other arm comes up. We go three, two, one, up. Use your breath, inhale down, exhale up. And don't worry if you're not getting super far down. It's a flexibility thing, you'll get there. Inhale two, three, exhale, good. Finish it up. You can either look straight ahead or you can look down at that kettlebell. Yeah, three more reps. Three, two, one. Last time, three, two, one, and up. Good, bring it to the floor. Hands to the horn of your kettlebell still. Your bell is totally flat on the floor. Taking a high plank, a high close grip plank. So hands are close together. Come up, feet hip width apart. Zip up your core. Look at the kettlebell. Your hands should be directly underneath your shoulders. Tighten up your quads. Zip the belly. If you're here, I need you to zip the belly up, okay? Breathe. We got about 30 seconds to hold. Ten seconds. And out. Good, that's it for today. You can stay right here. Inhale up. Exhale out. You can give your arms and legs a stretch at the end of this workout. Or go on to do cardio if you're doing cardio today. Exhale. But great job. Thanks for joining.